It was an early attack from the five win Hornets who have yet to lose to an EPC opponent this season. Will Barber would break the ice just over a minute into the contest and it would take just another minute for John Hughes to fire one from the top to go up by two over the concrete kids. By the end of the first quarter, the home team would be up by five after Barber nets his second of the frame. Northampton couldn't stop the bleeding in the second as Caleb Maines gets some help from Barber at X for a high-low shot that puts the Greed Hornets up by six. Hughes would earn a hat trick here in the quarter. He would lead his Hornets with five goals as they held a 10 to nothing lead at halftime. Early in the third, the Concrete Kids would find a way to break through with three straight goals. Elijah Block finds the open lane to score. That before Brad Smith shoots high to get a few back from Emmaus, who would just continue to strike. Hughes would put the final touches on what ended up being an 18 to four win over Northampton. This win coming at the right place at the right time after a humbling loss 13 to 6 against Germantown Academy. This team's been averaging over 10 goals a game. That one a learning lesson for this squad who has the toughest part of their schedule in the weeks ahead. I mean, this game was huge for us coming off a loss Saturday against Germantown Academy, a great game um, and a great team. We just felt like an energy had to switch within the team and Coming back to practice Monday, we knew there was a different type of energy. We were more hungry. We, we were humbled from that loss. And I think the switch in energy kind of led to an explosive start that we had today. Yeah, I mean, we came off a bad loss against a really good Germantown Academy team. And then we came back today and we just wanted to control what we can control and play our game. And I think we did that. I mean, we got a little sloppy in the third quarter, but we uh, pulled away in the fourth quarter. Today in the locker room before the game, coach throws out a good point. We still don't know who we really are as a team because we haven't been tested in these interconference games like Parkland, Freedom, Central. And we're just kind of waiting on those games. It's like, we're trying to figure out who we are. I think people are moving around. Games are up and down score-wise. Um, but I'd say we're still gelling. We're still trying to figure out who we really are. We're excited. We're looking forward to playing Central Parkland Freedom, but we got to take it one game at a time. At Memorial Field, I'm Gwen Begley for the Service Electric Network.